Hi, everyone. In this presentation, I'd like to talk to you about what is information management. Information management means a lot of things to a lot of people. In this presentation, I'm going to focus on what I understand by information management, how I think people should approach information management, and also the focuses that we're going to give uh, in this course. So let's get to it. I like to begin talking about what is information management by focusing on specific roles and functions that individuals associated with information management have. So there are all sorts of different, different types of roles and functions associated with information management. Database administration, systems analysis and development, uh, software programming, usability analysis, user interface design, also associated with user experience, improving the user experience of websites, web development itself, which may involve kind of the uh, front end, as well as back end, and may involve programming, <clears throat> as well as other aspects of user interface design. Data analysis or data analyst, which is its own category of uh, job role, but also may involve all other kinds of specific uh, functions, uh, including those related to more sophisticated statistics and machine learning operations. IT director and manager, web architect for analyzing information architecture, how information concepts are constructed and associated within a web environment. Web content manager, system administrator, chief information officer, information security analyst, researcher in information management, and so on. Often the information management term is a broad way to think about various functions related to the management of information. But when you think about it, you may want to always think a little bit more specifically on the specific role, uh, job, specific job title or function that you are interested in either further developing uh, or focusing on in this course. When I think about information management, I like to situate information management within these multi-dimensional spheres of work and life where we are situated. Um, as the diagram shows here, we as individuals can think of ourselves as being sort of mostly in all of these spheres, potentially a little bit of us outside some of them, but generally within the sphere of family, which is uh, also family and community. This has an impact on our lives. It has an impact on how we think about information management, how we apply information management, how, how well we do in our workplace. Uh, sometimes these will be blood related. Sometimes these will be other people that become our community. Outside of that, in a way, also, of course, related to it, but a little bit broader, I think, comes the organizational side. Um, and that's your place of work where you make your economics, where you make um, your, your, your work, you put your work in this life. Now, of course, families are within organizations in a very strict sense because people follow in the paths of their parents, both within a field, but also often within the same enterprise itself. So family and organizations often are very integrated uh, into one another. Uh, but within the organization, of course, we are situated within society. Societies have different cultures, different traditions, different habits, and all of these uh, religious and secular ideas impact how we think about the importance of individuals, the importance of organizations, the importance of family, the importance of things like privacy. Um, so all of our actions are situated within the sphere as well. And also, of course, there's the broader ecology uh, of the entire system of living and non-living things 
within the earth. So the college here kind of closes in on the planet. I thought the planet itself was broad enough for us uh, to provide some boundaries, but of course you can expand to the whole universe. But I think ecology is important because our activities in agencies, in work, impact our environment. And our environment, of course, in turn impacts what we have to do, what kind of systems we should be developing, uh, how much we should consider the efficiency of the systems, the output of the systems, the waste of the system, and so on. So I think it's important to understand all these various spheres of life and how they impact information management in particular and other associated uh, work and life uh, behavior. So this is why I put this diagram here for you and for us. To give a glimpse of the kinds of questions and theoretical perspectives we'll take in this class, this slide summarizes some of these views. So first there is the information and system science kind of perspectives. And within this kind of framework, we will address questions such as how to operate basic information technologies, how to develop a data model to organize data for an information system how are websites created and developed, how to plan for enterprise information technology development, how to create value from data and information technologies. A lot of people are interested in this, and this is often what is talked about. It is a little bit more abstract uh, and difficult to think about sometimes uh, because it's hard to predict what people will want and what really where value will come from. But I think it's important to talk about it. Uh, we will bring this up in our course, how to develop usable and efficient systems. So systems that uh, address the needs of the client, the needs of the users, and are also efficient in their use of resources. We'll take perspectives from psychology and organizational science. Um, we address questions such as how to manage, organiz manage organizations and successful projects. What are those factors that impede or contribute to the success of a project, especially IT development projects? What are some of the cognitive biases uh, that impact our work in information management? How does culture and gender play a role in information management? Uh, we find this relevant to consider and talk about, so we bring it up here. Uh, on the sort of sociology and politics perspective, we'll address questions such as how to consider social causes, those kind of broader spheres. How do those broader spheres of life uh, impact what we're doing in an organization? Or what are the social implications of the te technologies we are developing um, in our work? Why consider diverse stakeholders? perhaps not only a shareholder's perspective, but a stakeholder's perspective and types of organizations such as benefit corporations. You are familiar with nonprofits, government and for-profit entities, but we also may talk about benefit corporations and the importance of these types of organizations in our work. We will also talk about law and ethics and how to consider and apply relevant laws of and ethics for information management. We think we are unique and also relevant because we bring these kinds of perspectives into information management. We think it broadens and supports our understanding of the more minutia uh, actions that we take in our work but we think it's really important to have this broader view and we hope you also uh, see this throughout the course. So we'll continue this next time.